Michael, your thoughts on what looked like a bit of a frustrating afternoon here at the Parliament Bescot Stadium? Any game you lose is frustrating, but when it should be out of sod, um, it makes it even worse. That's the second time we've been punished now for not killing teams off, and um, you know the one being Stevenage, and and today you can keep giving teams chances, um, letting them off the hook, but <clears throat> you know our our defending for the two goals was atrocious. There was a bit of a change in shape. Do you think that affected the setup of those goals? No, not at all. Um, you know, when you're letting players run across you without checking your shoulder, um, walking back instead of covering the goal, um, you get punished. You know, well, we get punished. So, um, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not happy. There were chances for your side to kill the game off. Most notably, Tom Knowles had that. 1v1, he did everything right in that moment, bar putting the ball past the goalkeeper. Yeah, look, you know, he's obviously not missed on purpose, but we, uh, you need a bit of composure there. It's, um, yeah, like I said, um, we should have taken a few chances and, and put the game out of side. Your side did create plenty of chances, and that must have been something that, you know, if you want to take a positive out of it, you can take that, can't you? No, I'm not. I'm not taking too many positives today. I'm not going to stand here and sugarcoat it that's a game that we should have had three points in and we've ended up with none so um, I'm, I'm bitterly disappointed and I just hope it hurts the players as much as it hurts me That's a couple of home games now where you've dominated and had those chances but just not been able to see out and pick up the points you think your side deserve Yeah well listen when you're creating the chances like that but you know my, our midfield um, today was not added um, like I said, we looked probably for the first time, we looked a little bit shaky um, at the back with the decision making and recovery runs. So, you know, take Liam Bennett out there. I'm not going to tar him all with the same brush. Um, you know, I thought Liam was very good today. And uh, missing Donovan, when Donovan left, that was uh, a blow. But um, people got to step up, and today they didn't. I was going to say, Liam Bennett was one of those that really got on the front <coughs> foot, that, and he started that charge for the, first, for the goal that we scored, didn't he? Yeah, listen, you know, he, he, he's one who can look in the mirror and say he give, a, give his all. Um, and had a good game, but look, we win together, we lose together. Yeah. Just wish that um, we had a little bit more competition for places so, um, you know, people don't get too comfortable. You're going to Tuesday night now and again, I'd like to say you could ring the changes in that, but you will be looking for those who perhaps are on the bench there to get some valuable minutes in the, the Papa John's. Look, you know, I'd have to have a, a think over the weekend what to do. There's players who are, you know, maybe need a rest. You know, Brandon Comley aim right. He's he's playing with a with a niggle. Um, so it's a bit it's a bit we are bare bones. It's as simple as that. But we've known it, and there's nothing we can do about it. So um, look, let's see what the week brings. I can say you're a busy manager. A couple of days left in the transfer window. You still obviously want to strengthen. Oh, I want to strengthen. I need to strengthen because um, I think the group need a lift as well. And, and I think the supporters now after today, because they've, um, they've been kicked in the guts today and uh, they don't deserve that.